Hey pilots, welcome back. We are flying in the uh, co-pilot seat with F-2200, as you can see on the screen, replay review, 109F Friedrich. Uh, nice clan emblem there, I like it. So um, we are up in the air. We have two command centers, three garrisons. And the question at hand is, what did we do right? What did we do wrong? What could we do better? Um, and so we're going to talk about all of that immediately at gaining altitude headed for the first zone. Good stuff. Uh, I'm going to point this out immediately because it's, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of a thing with me. Um, I notice no consumables and no camouflage. Consumables are cheap and we get them for free for the most part. So I would definitely buy those, especially on a cheap weekend. And uh, spoiler uh, alert, it would have helped uh, a little later in the match to have some consumables on in a couple of places, and I'll point those out. And secondly, the camouflage helps you with dealing with any aircraft, which is not a problem in this first zone, uh, but is later on. And also with uh, concealability, which is also helpful at times. And also, it just looks cool. So there you go. All right, we are gaining altitude back after this, and we need to decide where to head. Uh, both of these zones, I would probably head to this one. You got a better chance of flipping it before they get there. But, um, we also went straight up to gain altitude. We're gonna we're gonna keep our eyes on that. I might have something to say about that. All right, so we are at 2K. We are into the yellow. No problem with that, um, initially at least. But we don't necessarily want to keep gaining altitude. So reminder and pro tip for pilots, once you hit the yellow in the altitude band, your plane is debuffed. Um, and what do I mean by debuffed? I mean your top speed goes down, your maneuverability goes down, the accuracy of your guns goes down, your responsiveness, the controllability of the aircraft goes down. Everything is debuffed, literally the entire plane. So, uh, you know, we don't mind, especially if I have a high performing plane like the Friedrich going into the yellow, but getting as far above the yellow as we are here, not necessary. Um, it really doesn't necessarily buy us a whole lot. There's a limit to the amount of energy you can bank and hold on to, even as an energy fighter, and a limit to the amount of good it's going to do you. And, and we've just popped up a P-38J, which has finished capturing this zone over here. And this is part of why I would say you don't need to gain. So instead of being at 2,100 meters and 400 kilometers per hour, we're at 2,400 meters and 300 kilometers per hour. We're moving slower. So at 2,100 meters, we would have been even playing with the P-38 and much faster. And uh, in the terms of this initial engagement, watch. So he's coming for you. He's going to make his turn here. You're diving, so he's got a wiggle to hit you. So this is good. We're making, his, making him compress, making him turn into you to take his shot. And it's going to cost him. Okay. Now, first thing. I can't zoom out enough. So he's moving from left to right on you. Right, so he's he's diving from the left and headed. He'll enter uh, slightly off center left and exit slightly off center right. Okay, and he's diving, so he's picking up speed. Oh, you're diving too. Uh, you've caused him to dive, so you're both picking up speed, which is good. Now watch, watch which way you turn. You turn to the to the left. So uh, turning to the left and him turning this way means a wider arc. It's going to take you longer to get your nose on his tail going this direction. So since he was going to exit off your right shoulder, you should have turned off your right shoulder as well. Uh, and then you would have created one circle. You guys would have been coming back together. Um, as it is, though, you're going to be chasing his tail, and he's going to have plenty of time to get away. Because by the time you get nose around, he's already out of gun range at this point, right? And we're not even around yet. So we're going to dodge the bomber coming in, because believe it or not, bot bombers will use that single 23 millimeter to, to pop shots at you, and I have died to one before when I've been low HP, so. Uh, Ranger's already out of range at that point. Um, we'll talk about this a little more later in the video, but the 109's a knife fighter. Um, the, the 20 millimeter nose, I think, has 700 meter range, and it's it's a uh, pop shot, right? Not really going to do much with it. And he's already accelerating away. You know, he's, he's, he's doing good energy fighting here. He when you guys initially met, he had more energy than you because um, because of his speed and altitude. So it's going to be hard to uh, to deal with him at this point. He's just trucking away, right? He knows he's going to go out. At that point, you're already too far away. He's going to go out to 1,000 meters, maybe 1,200, and then come back out, out on you probably. And we've got to watch that. Yep, he's doing his loop right there. Uh, watch. 
So let's see, that's him. The heavy, yeah. So he's already turning. Look at your look at the mini map. That's the heavy right there. He's turning. So he's already looping to, to dive on you. And when he loops, finishes that loop, he's gonna be on your tail. So Oh, yep, right there. Did you see the arrow flip? Uh, hopefully you're watching the mini-map. Uh, watch the arrow flip. He's, he's diving on you. From this point, you are now in his gun sights. Now he's far away from you, uh, but he's at 1,200 coming back. This is textbook um, diving on you. So Now we're, uh, we're dealing with the 210, which I understand that's the most pressing threat, but we want to keep an eye on that too. Again, um, you know, he's, off, he's off your right shoulder this time. Look, you, you turned. And it's going to be a shorter pull around, oh, we, but we went up. There's no reason to go up here, um, especially since you have a P-38 diving on you, because all this is going to do is make you slower. And there's no need to gain altitude here. We're already in an altitude to fight with a 210. Um, and we've got this guy above us even, so that's, that's problematic. Um, so we really want to keep our speed as high as possible right here, so I would not go over. You're going to get around on the 210, but you've also got to dodge the P-38 now as well, right? Now look at this. You're at 262. You're a sitting duck in front of him. If he had judged this dive a little better, you'd be dead. Um, as it is, it looks like you might get away with it. The 210's diving. You're totally defensive right now, right? I get that. All right. We avoided the dive. We've got the 210 on us still. Uh, now they're both moving away. So what do you do here? You know, what's what's the play? Uh, for me, the play is a straight horizontal turn. Wrap up this 210. He's diving. It's going to take him a while to set up for another run. Or he's going to leave you and do something else, right? So I'm not worried about it. Uh, old Zevin quote from World of Tanks. He did World of Tanks videos forever. What are you most afraid of? Well, now that this pass is done, I'm most afraid of the 210. So yeah, just keep a straight horizontal turn. Let's burn this guy down for a strike. Good. Uh, no need to turn out. Just just keep the horizontal turn here. You've critted his engine, so he's actually got a better turn time. Uh, you're already getting dove on again, and you've turned again to line yourself up, right? So you've given him your tail. So, and you're at half health this time. You may not make it out of this one. Okay, so look, so he's shooting now. Look at your plane relative to him. This is what he sees when he's taking those shots. That's a very large target, right? Uh, if possible, we want to be wing on. We would rather give him this target, like a little narrow line, half of which will be hit on the wings, and the wings do not take as much damage as the rest of the plane do. Um, so that DPS gets soaked a little bit on the wings. But here, he's got the whole thing, not just the wings, but the fuselage, and he's going to burn you down. Yep. So you gave you gave him your tail, gave him your broadside, um, and you're still you're moving at a fairly low. I mean, you're up at high. That's which is good, but your your speed is relatively low, all things considered, right? Like my the tier four premium I16 can do 323, and it's a slow plane, right? We want to be up a little higher than that. So you you're doing good at putting money in the energy bank over there, um, but pulling it out and utilizing it. Um, we need to be more more aggressive in that sense of using that energy and, and keeping that uh, speed up. So uh, Hunter is coming, was coming to your A, looks like, but he didn't quite get there in time. And we're back in the match. Good. That was a short cooldown. It's awesome. All right. So I've learned something. I'll share it uh, with uh, Hunter and with everyone who's watching this. Um, don't climb at this extreme a rate. So, and back in Clan Wars in 1.x, we did a, a 60. We would be a bit higher than this, but we we're trying to slow the match down. You can't afford to slow the match down here. So, most people assume that in a simulation like this, everything is, uh, you know, at a similar scale. So, if you're doing like scale modeling, you know, the, the model is 1 to 24 or whatever else. Obviously, this is a scale model. The game is right. You're not actually flying one kilometer. But what most people don't realize is there's a compression in the scale vertically. So um, horizontally, it's about 30% or 20% more than vertically. So what does that mean? That means if you climb, you know, assuming vacuum of space, constant speed, whatever else, if you were to climb 1,000 meters in this game, 
and someone else were to fly horizontally at the same speed for a, th a thousand meters in this game, um, they would actually be at 1,200 meters and you would still be at, you would be at a thousand. They're actually going to get a 20% bonus because there's a higher amount of compression vertically than there is horizontally. So what does that mean in, in terms of real life? What's the practical of this? The more extreme your climb, right, the less distance you're going to cover. And so it's a less efficient form of travel. And in a game where capping zones as quickly as possible is the name of the game, we want to be more efficient in terms of how we travel. So I would set your climb between 25 and 30 degrees, uh, 40, 50 degrees like this. Uh, you're actually costing yourself horizontal movement. Um, and it's not really gaining you anything. You're not getting a return on that investment. Same thing here. You know, once we're up at this altitude, we're, we're completely debuffed, right? And, uh, and we're, we're going to struggle with our energy state. So, and because we don't have any consumables, we don't have a boost cooler. Because we don't have a boost cooler, we can't make it here in time to help keep this zone from being flipped. Uh, we can't run capture this, which would probably be the best offensive move to make, is go ahead and head this way and rock this out and really put the, put the squeeze on them. Um, and we're just moving at 336, which is, again, the speed that a Tier 4 multi-roll can move at, right? A slow multi-roll. So we want to be doing better than this in terms of managing our energy. And at 2,800 meters, I don't. There's just nothing for you to do up here, right? I mean, you're all you're all alone, and the battle the battle is unfolding without you as you're as you're up this high. So, by the way, once you get to the red, I believe the uh, <laughs> I don't remember the exact numbers on the debuff. I think it's 10 percent, 10 to 15 percent in the yellow. Um, but, and if I remember right, when you hit the red, it's the 30% deep buff. And you, at some point, won't be able to maintain your speed. You'll just stall yourself out. So. <coughs> Sorry. Cough. Allergies. P47, you're in a dive on him. That's good. Uh, we can do that. We still have 10 seconds till the zone unlocks, though. Uh, if we're watching the mini-map, the P51 just appeared. And that's the point where you notice the, the P51, right, when you, you start to dip, right, at 1,000 meters. So... He's climbing you at 1,000. This guy's at 1,000. I wouldn't turn on this guy. Um, he's got better frontal firepower than you do, obviously. With the, he's a tier up, up from you. He's got very good, you know, he's specialized. So, you know, he's got the max guns and everything else. Um, and he's climbing, so he's going to run out of energy. He's got to burn his energy to get up to you. So I would just keep trucking, maybe do a little wiggle to the right to throw his aim off, make him compress, make him climb even more vertically. And then you can either loop over on top of him while he's stalled, or you can finish this guy off and come back around for him. But diving on him, I would not take. I, this is, you're not going to win the head on. It's going to cost you a lot more than it's going to cost him. You lucked out there. Um, yeah, because that was a pretty even exchange. But now you've put yourself at a disadvantage. Um, you've got plenty of speed, but now you've got two guys ahead of you. And you're going to pull up in the vertical to deal with him and make yourself a target for this guy. So I would have just, again, trucked on, dealt with a P-47, and, and let him try to catch you. And, you know, spoiler alert, he's not going to catch you because he burned all of his boost to get up to you. Um, but now we're in a pickle, and because we don't have a fire extinguisher, we're about to lose some HP. Now, I know people use the fire extinguisher skill on their pilots, and you can do that. It gives you the option to put a med kit in slot one on your consumables, and I understand that. But I want you to watch your HP here and watch how much the fire costs you. You lost 70 HP between the two of them and a pilot, and you don't have a, a first aid kit either, right? So we're still burning. We lost another 40, another 6, another 10, another 20, another 30, another 35 hit points. Right, maybe the, we'll say 30. Lost another 30 hit points from the fire, and the firefighting still ha skill hasn't kicked in yet. So, um, just you know, at the point at which if you die here, the point at which you do, imagine you still had 30 hit points, right? And what that might look like. So, fortunately, he has our time getting guns on. You're able to wiggle out, and we still have 70. But you could have 100. Just a thought. Um, Hunter is coming up to help you. Looks like he's going to burn the P47. So you can probably concentrate on this guy. Good, yeah. Uh, you saw how hard it was for you to accelerate through that turn. It's because you're debuffed at this altitude, right? If this fight were taking place 300 meters lower, you'd have, have more significant advantages. And there's no clear advantage here anyway. As Specialized P51, he's probably faster than you, and if he's built for, for turns, he might actually outturn you as well. You might have zero advantages flight-wise here. 
But in this case, it looks like with a two-on-one defensively and just from the your ability to see pull around on him like that, he's not probably not spec for turns, which is good. That's, that means you've got him in a turn fight, which is where you're at right now. <clears throat> I would say, you could, at this point, Hunter's come to your aid twice. You can probably trust Hunter. So in this case, what I might do is actually pull off, go out to about 700 meters and turn around um, and watch what he does. If he follows you, well, you've got low HP. If you have a little more HP, you could you could play bait, right? Or if he tries to stay engaged with Hunter, then you would have the kill. But there's nothing wrong with this play. I'm just thinking of other options for you here. All right. Thank you, Hunter, for coming to our aid. We've been able to flip the zone as a result of that and put Ugly Bum out of the fight for a little bit. And it's right to head to the command center next. And that was, you saw that your guns did okay there. It's a knife fight. You're, you're up in close, and that's really the issue with the 109 line. They are knife fighters. They are not meant for long-range engagements. Your superior speed and maneuverability compared to most planes uh, means you should be able to win the maneuver portion, whatever that looks like, whether it's vertical or horizontal. And then you've got as much time as, it, as you need to burn them down. It's a very fun play style. I enjoy it. Uh, but it's not for everyone. And it is frustrating at times to not have the firepower. You've got all this good stuff going on with your plane, and you're like, God, I can't kill anything. So um, same thing here. You're at 560. The only thing hitting right now, the only thing hitting, the, the guns are not doing, the machine guns are doing zero damage. The only thing you can hit with is 20. The machine guns, I think, have a 500-meter range. So there's no point in firing right now. You're just, you're, you're already halfway through the cooldown, and you're 20, and you've done no damage. All right? Now, if you'd open fire here with a uh, your cooldown on the 20, you know, complete, you wouldn't already be burned out on the 20, and we'd be able to really suck some HP off of this guy, right? Um, it also takes longer to cool that 20. Here's where you want to split your. Um, not sure. Did you roll out? Are you rolling out the old 190? Anyway, pause. Pause button here. Um, you know what? No pause button. Let's just see. We've already established that Ranger knows that energy fight. He's probably just going to leave. Um, and you're at 800 meters. I would dive. Bring, make him come completely to the ground to come after you. Make him bleed all of his energy to get down here to deal with you. Uh, that's what I would do. I would not chase him up. And we're already at the point where our guns don't work. Oh, splitting the guns. Uh, you can slave weapon group 2 to your side button. Uh, and that'll be just your machine guns then, and you can continue your sustained DPS, um, and then use the mouse button to add back, sort of, you know, sort of add back into 20, really, if both of them are firing the machine guns and only the left button. Oh, he's, he's turning on. This is perfect. He's, he's loving this. He's absolutely loving this. You've chased him up 800 meters. You're slow. You're out of boost, and he has got you, all right? Uh, you are fortunate to turn out of that. Um, very fortunate. You've also got AA to deal with, which, by the way, you'd have more HP flying through that flak burst if you had the camo on. So, worth a couple of thousand silver to make that happen. Uh, he's going to fly away. I would burn this guy down. Uh, you're right. This is the right range to start opening fire on this guy. You'll have a full burst. You won't have to deal with anything else. Um, and you'll be 40 points to the right on this zone, which has already got a little slice of pie out of it. Yeah, good call. I just want to start a little sooner. Oh, follow him through. Just go ahead and follow him. The Night Stalker's after the bomber. Ranger has left. There's there's nothing else to deal with. Just follow him. He's your new target. He's at five hit points. If you had followed him, you'd already be at, you'd already be at, you'd be at 50 points left for the zone. That's it. Yeah, same thing. Turn and get him. Turn and get him. Now you're 170, right? You lost You lost uh, 80 points in that short span there. Good shark attack on Stalker. Finish him. Finish him. 40, 40 points right there. Watch. Watch what it's going to cost you. Uh, did the Ranger come back in? No. Yeah, okay. So watch, watch what this is going to cost you because your IL-8's down here almost dead as well. You're trying to capture this zone, and it's an uphill battle. Watch. And you're, you're attacking Night Stalker. You're still attacking Night Stalker. And he's got your engine now. <laughs> and this guy's still calling your name, right? You're at 100 points now. Okay, you're at 60. Uh, now, now... 
Ugly has spawned and is coming back. And now we're back at 100, right? Uh, just if we had finished that one sooner, uh, then the Sakine here, your, your um, co-pilot, uh, your, your teammate, uh, would not have been chasing up after him and probably wouldn't have died immediately to the P-51 um, on him. And uh, you could have helped out in some way. And the the heavy would still probably be just leaving. He looked like he was energy fighting as well. And you can use that against them. Energy fighting takes time. And time means less efficiency in capping. So in this case, with your engine gone, you have a much better maneuver rate than Ugly Bum does. I wouldn't have gone up here. You're you're like about to st you're going to stall out, right? I would have gone horizontal here, uh, just to conserve a little bit of the speed. Engine is back, but again, we've already proven we can turn inside and we can hang with him. Good. This is the altitude you want to be fighting at. You're still up high. You know, it's still costing people to get up here with you. But you, your speed is a little better, right? You're a little bit able to maneuver. <coughs> You're not debuffed in that sense. And you, I mean, this is the great thing about the 109. Say what you will about the guns. You just took a dogfight to an up-tiered specialized fighter and won. Just think about that for a second. I mean, that's, that's the joy of the 109 line. Right? They're, they're able to do that. <coughs> All right, if this guy goes down, you got the zone. Why? Because your IL-2T just died in the zone. And that cost you. So, if we'd been a little quicker on that one, we might would have gotten it. That's where the guns hurt you a little bit. I, I still think if we had sequenced that differently, we would have gotten this zone. The good news is it doesn't matter because you guys are already well ahead, right? You won your one-on-one -on -one matchups. You've dominated the map. Your teammates have done well. Um, Hunter's helped you twice. Seahawk fan has capped some zones, it looks like. And they've done well, too. Nobody was you know, necessarily slouching in this match. but I would say this is not a bad battle, but uh, it could have been much more efficient for you, right? You could have you could have done a lot more damage to the other team, uh, been a lot more dominant. Uh, just worry a little bit less about getting up as high as you can and, and more about an effective high altitude, right? Get up maybe just barely into that yellow or just below it. Um, and, and use your speed to cross the map more quickly. Um, get into spaces where you can have a strategic impact on the map. Yeah, I'm not sure when you open fire on this one, but it's still too, it's made still be too early that you're opening fire. Your 20 is already halfway overheated. Not that it matters because you're at 800, so. Good job. It was a good, it was a good flight. I don't think you did anything wrong other than, um, not not necessarily paying attention to the the p38 diving on you in the beginning that's the, the real mistake i think um in the match was not being aware of what he was doing and, and giving him your tail and broadside but other than that you flew well you knocked some planes down you captured some sectors um there's something to be said for that um, and you did well in terms of making sure your team had a victory you did well in the dog fighting against a p51d again a specialized p51d um good job yeah, uh, you had him, you had a higher, higher. Uh, you were above him in altitude, you had good maneuverability, you avoided his attacks. And once you did that, again, you saw the strength of the 109F, right? If that one, if that P51 doesn't kill you in the initial pass, you've got him, right? You, you've got the, you've got the better, um, the better maneuverability there. He should have just left and he didn't. He probably wasn't thinking about that. He was probably thinking, I'm an up tier specialized aircraft, I can deal with this. And the joy of the P, uh, the 109 um, is that that's not always true. So uh, good flying with this. I know the guns are anemic. They're a problem. Wait till 500 meters to open fire. You know, split the groupings on them. Uh, make sure you're not climbing as much or make sure you're doing as much horizontally as you are vertically with this plane, right? Getting around the map. That's one of the strengths of a, a good energy speed fighter like this is um, you can really be aggressive around the map, helping to flip things. And then uh, don't chase people up. Right, bring bring heavies down if they're good energy fighters. Don't play their game. Um, you know, kind of use your maneuverability at that point to win, as opposed to your energy or or speed. Uh, but you did some good stuff here. Definitely some good tactics on the on the uh, dog fighting, and uh, you made sure you went to the right zones and cap things. Uh, good solid knowledge of the game, and as a result of that, your team have flipped everything over. So. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, yeah, watch watch the Raptor dives from the heavies there and, and how you're turning on those. 
get some consumables and paint on your plane. Uh, but but excellent job fighting. And uh, so just so everyone knows, uh, Hunter and I uh, have scheduled a time to fly together. And I think we may be flying the 109F here. We may put ourselves both in this. I may rebuy it this weekend with some of the sales that are on. And uh, we're going to see. It'll be the 109F or who knows, maybe the G. We'll do something. We'll do a 109 battle and uh, have some fun with it. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to Hunter's uh, YouTube channel and videos in my description below. Go check him out. He's got some fun stuff there. And it's a joy to just you know watch people fly and have fun in this game and, and do pretty well at it. And Hunter does pretty well at it. So thanks for sending me the replay, Hunter. Uh, good luck and good hunting to all of you this weekend. If you enjoyed everything we did here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like button. If you didn't like it, tap the unlike button twice just to make sure it goes through. And I will catch you all on the next one.